I come back to this? Sun? Oh. So happy. Workout complete. I'm just gonna have a shower and get ready for the day. Um, a new habit I've been incorporating into my day. Dry brushing. I'm so bad for not looking after like my body skin. Like I'm pretty good at keeping up with a facial skincare routine, but I need to get back onto like moisturizing, exfoliating. It's meant to be good for circulation, exfoliating, obviously. I prefer doing it before the shower because then you can wash off all the dead skin that you exfoliated. Good morning guys! It is a beautiful day in Paris and I'm filming a little day in my life. I have one meeting this morning, I'm gonna get some work done and then I have a French class and then I'm meeting my friend for dinner. So actually no, that is, that is kind of stuff. I need to get ready quickly but I'm going to start off my morning, doing a little bit of morning pages, some journaling. Last week I shared my like June page that I set up just like the goals for the month and how I want to feel but it really feels like we're in a new season like it feels like summer is fully here and I want to reflect a little bit more well first up on what I'm grateful for because what's like I'm so content here and it feels like such an exciting chapter in my life I can't stop smiling some days like some mornings I just wake up and I see the sun coming into this room and I just can't believe that <laughs> that, that I get to be here. I want to express gratitude for that and gratitude, you know, for my house, being able to go to the gym this morning. I'm grateful for all the opportunities that are coming my way. I'm really grateful for community, both online with you guys and also for the people that I've met in Paris. It can be so daunting moving to a new city where you're not fluent in the language and I, I just feel so lucky to have met such kind and genuine and creative people that have really helped me find my place in the city and also help me with like language and all that stuff. I just want to express gratitude for where I am and reflect a little bit on where I want to go. Yes. Okay, I'm ready to go. Guys, it is hot outside. I just got back from my meeting with Ralph Lauren. My name? When I see my name on things, that's just like makes me all giddy and excited inside. A little meeting debrief, I'm still so hot. It was just a fitting for an event on Thursday, but I really liked the look that we picked out together. And the team were so lovely, like 
so 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 sweet one of the guys was Italian and there was an American girl and also a French lady and it was just really cool to see all these people switching between English and French in a working environment and with me um, and I don't know it's just like all these like little moments whenever I get to practice a little bit of French or even hear about what people have done to like move to Paris and like how they're working in fashion in the creative spheres but before I make lunch I'm gonna go to a cafe and do some work because I I still don't have a table and chairs and I've been working on my bed which is not the best and I can really feel like my back is not doing well maybe I should get a massage or go to yoga or something Merci, Merci. bonjour. Mm. So good. Bonjour, juste pour un. Je vous laisse vous installer au okay. café. Merci. Let's see what we're working with today. Pre-boiled egg, love, some veggies. In the summer, I love making just like a big salad for lunch with whatever things I have in the fridge. I might do like a hummus dressing. I spent too long cooking, but the sun isn't on the balcony anymore. The balcony, the window. Mm -mm. I picked up a parcel that I ordered. I'm very excited about it. So we could open it together. I got a projector. If you were watching my videos when I lived in London, I had a projector there. It did the job. It was like a pretty cheap one and it made a lot of noise when you were like playing stuff and it was kind of bulky. And I gave it to a friend when I moved out of my flat. For this apartment, I kind of wanted to invest in a little bit of a nicer projector because um, I'm not going to get a TV. I just think projectors are so fun and cozy and because I have these big white walls and one here when I'm in bed, I can project things. <gasps> wow. I got the XG IMI Halo. This was definitely a little bit of a splurge and I want to say it's my moving in present but everything that I get for the apartment is like a moving in present. I was between buying this one and the Anchor Nebula which I think is quite similar but this one just looked a little bit more substantial. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna like set this up for later. Ooh. Can you see that? Little check in. I'm eating a peach. No, nectarine. I have a French class in five minutes, so I'm just quickly looking over the class material. So I'm not taken by surprise by what we're doing, but we are looking at le futur simple et le futur proche. Mm. Mm. Vous connaissez un peu le futur proche et le futur simple? Oui. Le futur proche, c'est avec euh, le verbe aller. Ou la dernière phrase, la dernière. mais il y a la, la troisième.
This evening, I'm getting dinner with one of my friends, Arthur. We're going to this Japanese restaurant that we've both been meaning to try um, in the 6 hour and D small. Can't remember what it's called. It's like Kieto. I'm just gonna like touch up my makeup a little bit. I wanna wear these earrings. Fiona bought these for me and I'm obsessed with Sandy Liang. Like her pieces are beautiful. I hardly ever switch up my jewelry, so it's really nice to have like a statementy piece. <laughs> they're just so, they're just so freaking adorable. Little bows and the little heart. I was gonna change my outfit, but I can't really be bothered thinking of something else to wear. The only thing is, I'm gonna walk to dinner. It's still like kind of hot outside, so I feel like jeans are gonna get a little bit sweaty. Maybe I'll add a little bit of blush for that sun kiss look. I'm very excited to set up my projector when I come home later. I'm gonna be rotting in bed even more. No, that's that's not true. We are not having a rotting in bed summer. We're having an outside having picnics and enjoying the sunshine. But whenever I do want to rot in bed, it's gonna be elevated because I'll have a projector. So it'll be like classy rotting in bed. At the minute, I don't have any art for my walls so I can kind of double up as that. And I do want to look into maybe getting some pieces, but I also know that I want to like actually paint some of the stuff myself. I'm trying a new drawing studio this week, which I'm excited about. It's another life drawing one, and I think it would be good to get back into the swing of practicing. I was using this Reformation bag earlier, but I think I'm gonna switch to this brown one. I got this off Vinted for 50 euros, and it's vintage Miu Miu, and I'm obsessed. Like, Vinted here is next level. En français Ouais. Sinon, on prend les quatre. Comme ça, on en a deux chacun. A voir. Mixed pickles. Ah, ça, j'ai vu. A lot of people having this. Attends. Euh, Toro tartare. Quoi, c'est Toro tartare Ça, c'est tartare avec des œufs de poisson. Ouais. Ça, c'est des petits pickles de légumes. Je pense qu'il y a concombre, radis. C'est quoi Ça, c'est comme. Genre. Roots or something? Ça fond dans la bouche. Ça fond de la bouche. Ça fond. Ça fond. Ça fond. Ça fond. Ça fond. Ça fond. C'est mignon. Ça, c'est le plus mignon. Ouais, et je vais mettre un petit porc. Oui, un petit porc. Ça a l'air super beau. Ouais. Et il y a la rue. Il y a la rue par dessous. C'est comme un crumble. Ah, il a. The butter flavor. It's a thing.